Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm your host today covering today's Starlink and SpaceX because it is really important to talk about that right now. So we're gonna drive a bit away from Tesla here but um, today it is a video about SpaceX and Starlink and if you're new to my channel do consider subscribing if you do enjoy my content and we will start right away into the first topic because it is all about Starlink. Yes, we do see here the super heavy booster that is um, going to be tested very soon and it just looks massive guys. I mean this size is just incredible. It is the biggest um, in such a way that has ever been built um, in space history and um, it will be frightening to see um, when it is actually going to be working constantly flying the Starship out um, to space. So we have to see how fast a SpaceX is able to take care um, of that and how fast it is going to work. We have seen that Starship is now um, flying um, yeah, successfully and there will be a point when we will see Starship flying uh, Starlink satellites. That was announced uh, several weeks ago and it is official that um, that could be the strategy to make Starship work really well because we do know that before human will fly with Starship it is a good way to test with Starlink satellites everything that works because if there, something is happening it is just satellites that are gonna be exploding and not humans. So it is a good way and good strategy to work with the Starship and Starlink satellites. So talking Starlink, um, we have seen a rapid growth in users. It was 10,000 in February. Now it is around in peak times 69,000. But the long term goal here is to reach more than 500,000 in the next few 12 months, uh, in the next few months and uh, in the next year. Um, let's see how fast that goes. It also depends on the amount of satellites um, Elon Musk can send to orbit. Um, furthermore, the goal is not to go bankrupt. That is what Elon Musk has said. And he expects that in the long term, um, he wants to serve 5% of the worldwide population um, with the Starlink internet. What is really interesting is that many people um, see it as a competition to the internet providers we have currently everywhere in the world. Elon Musk officially says that he's not aiming to compete with them or destroy them, but um, really just help those people that live at the um, yeah outside of um, big cities. So I don't know how it is in the United States. You can really um, let me know in the comment section if when you live um, in rural areas where it's not much happening, um, how the internet is over there and how important it would be for you when if you come from the United States to have Starlink here um, um, somewhere on a range uh, in nowhere. Um, um, I do know that in Germany especially we do have issues when it comes to areas where uh, there's no big city and you're living at land side. Um, it is really hard to get a really good internet connection. So I think that 5% is uh, a pretty low percentage. I think there's much more potential here, but I think um, tes uh, Tesla not, but Elon Musk downplays here the situation. Um, I think in a few years by um, 2026, they will um, aim to have even more satellites up there. The goal is eventually to invest around 20 to 30 billion dollars into this entire market because they need that to be staying um, competitive. I do really have to laugh about the word competitive as we all know that competitive, I mean, who is going to compete with them? The price to send satellites, I mean, we do know that there is another provider in bringing space internet um, into airplanes, but I mean, honestly, they are not flying them up there at the same price as SpaceX. So there is no competition and the word no competition is even more important here as when it comes to Tesla and cars because there it is possible that at some point when it comes to the amount of cars sold 
um, some car companies might catch up. But on the other hand, for Starlink, there's pretty much nothing. I mean, competition. What is the competition? The only competition could be that China, Russia, um, are actually, or India as well, sending satellites up there, also building an internet connection. But uh, I mean, at that level, you're competing with countries and not with companies. So it's really, um, I'm really looking forward to that. He also further said that five to 10 billions in investments are needed before Starlink can be cash flow positive. And this is, I think, the moment where everyone is waiting for um, that when Starlink is starting to be cash flow positive, um, they would break Starlink out of the SpaceX company and they will make an IPO. That is something that makes a lot of sense because it will um, not eat into the um, cash flow of SpaceX and it will allow um, SpaceX to be a profitable company, which will most likely happen. I'm really sure about that. And then you are able to send bills to SpaceX and SpaceX is making money because they are contracted with Starlink. That is how it could work. Furthermore, as well as Starlink could um, overprice some of the um, things they order from SpaceX if it's sending Starlink satellites to orbit. So it's kind of like a new customer for SpaceX at some point, but let's see how they play that out. What I do want to know from you, if you would consider buying a Starlink satellite and furthermore, um, what you think about the pricing and what we can expect in the next few years. I do think that um, Starlink is the same like with, um, with the energy business of Tesla. Many people underestimate the potential when it comes to Starlink and the revenue that could drive this business because everyone is focusing on the um, flights of SpaceX and not Starlink itself. So let me know what you think um, about this entire topic. Um, sometimes it's important not to only focus on Tesla, but as well different ventures that Elon Musk is in and Starlink and SpaceX are two of them. And I hope you do enjoy this kind of content that I'm talking about when I sometimes um, go a bit away from Tesla and focus on other projects that he's working on. So as well, you can let me know when you think Tesla, Tesla CEO Elon Musk will reach uh, Mars. I mean, that is also a topic uh, we have to talk about at some point. So I want to thank you for all your support. And just consider that this video uh, was pre-made um, because I'm in vacation right now and I hope you do enjoy that. And if there was any changes in the meantime, I'm sorry about that. So take care guys and thank you for listening to my video and I wish you all a wonderful day.